Right, so everyone, a couple of days ago, I put up a video about two new crossbows I bought. Now, everyone's obviously excited to see those crossbows. Unfortunately, a uh, <laughs> bit of a delay. Um, the garden's a bit of a tip at the minute. There's not too much you can really do. I mean, there is usable space, but let's be honest, you don't really want to be shooting in an unpresentable garden. So, unfortunately, whilst re renovations take place and whilst, you know, junk gets cleared out, I'm kind of limited as to what I can do. I may do a comparison video of sorts with the... Um, the crossbows of bought, you know, comparing them to the old models, but anyway, that's enough of a tangent. Today I want to show off something a little more unusual in my collection. Now, a lot of you may not be aware of this, but I'm actually quite a big fan of anime, and specifically, these swords are from an anime, well, slash manga, called Attack on Titan. Now, many question marks I can imagine are over the heads of my viewers here, because most people don't really subscribe to my channel for this kind of thing, let's be honest, but I am a fan of it, and I thought, you know what to hell with it. I mean, there's a website I frequent quite a lot called Blades and Bows, and not too long back they started to branch out. They started selling um, props and replicas from the likes of films, you know, games, anime, all that. And it just kind of built up over time, and now they've got a really good selection, and a lot of the stuff is actually pretty high quality. So, enough rabbiting. I'm not going to go into the lore of you know, this attack on Titan too much because obviously you just want to see the sword. But swords themselves, they're purely display only, completely blunt with no tip, and you do not want to swing these around. I will show you why in a second. Now, these are actually pretty affordable, believe it or not. You can get them for about £30 each. That may go up, it may go down, because these are produced in a quite a limited quantity. And obviously, with them coming from China, the factories over there, they close and shut every single week. So, one day you might be able to get them, the next they could be gone. That's how I found, I really wanted these um, about a year back and they just went out of stock completely. And then they came back in all of a sudden. Now, they're pretty good props. You can weather them yourselves, you can modify them to go with all your gear if you so desire. I mean, a lot of people like to dress up as characters from shows and whatnot and then go to the likes of Comic Con. And these are do just fine for that. And I have to say, they're pretty good for the money. I like them quite a lot. I haven't figured out a way to display them as of yet. And if you don't have them displayed, they come with these just like generic synthetic sheaths, just you know to keep everything clean and you know dust free. The blades themselves do actually have some functionality. You know, ignore the sheath falling on the floor there. So the clutch mechanism works. If you don't know, the kind of the characters, it's like a pre-industrial revolution set and we're all like giants that run around eating people and everyone's living behind this big enclosed wall. And of course, 100 years, nothing happens. 100 years later, all the giants appear out of nowhere, start running around eating people. How do they fight back? They basically zip round like Spider-Man with these little belts that let them zip wide across. And attached to them, they have these swords that let them fight the giants, basically. That's an awfully crudely summarised way of putting it. But the blades in the show, they break quite a lot. So they have little um, holsters that allow them to carry multiple blades. Now, when the blades break, you can detach them and put new blades on. And with these ones, you can actually do that. Just with a button press here, the blades come out. And then you pull the button in. And back in it goes. Now, I don't know if you can buy replacement blades. I imagine you just have to buy the complete units. And then just put the new blades in as you desire. But then you'll have a, a big old collection of handles like, but you know, it is what it is. But that also brings up the point as why you shouldn't swing these around because they're basically just held in that small little hole there, a little pin, just push it straight through. And these are very heavy, top heavy. Most of the weight is in the blade, so if you swing this, chances are something's going to break. So you really don't want to be doing that. But yeah, that was just a quick summary video of them really, just showing them off. I've had them for a little while now and I've not really done anything with them, but I suppose I will eventually. And um, Make sure you do keep tuned, I have got some interesting videos coming and the crossbow videos will be made as soon as possible, so um, yeah, cheers for watching.